Google Earth tours are effective ways to provide students an opportunity to include the visual spatial realm in their research projects. No matter what area they're studying, whether it's history, social science, the natural sciences, economics, art, or literature, there are tours that students can make that will provide meaningful learning experiences for them at a variety of grade levels. To create a tour is simple. You start by creating a new folder. To do this, click on Add and Folder. You're going to type in the name of your tour. For this, I'm going to just add T plus L Tour. And today we'll create a tour of some of the D-Day sites. So we'll use a D-Day site description. Once you click OK, you'll notice that your new folder has appeared in the My Places layer. Now we want to add some locations. We'll use place marks to do this. We're simply going to fly to a couple of the D-Day sites and use place marks to mark them as stops on our tour. The first site we'll go to will be Utah Beach. So we'll simply type in Utah Beach, France. Click the magnifying glass. And that will fly us to Utah Beach. Once we arrive at Utah Beach, we can zoom in to the level that we would like our place mark to be set at. So we're going to center the picture a little bit, slide over to the zoom in tool, we'll zoom in slightly, and then we'll set our place mark. Choose the push pin to add a place mark it. We'll call it Utah Beach. We can change the look of this by simply clicking on the yellow place mark and choosing any other place mark we wish to choose. We'll choose a blue push pin for this. Click on OK. And let's say that Utah Beach is important because it was the westernmost landing site on D-Day. We click OK. And we've added Utah Beach to our tour. Let's pick another site. This time we'll pick the easternmost site. That would be Sword Beach. Sword Beach isn't so easy to find, so it gives us a couple of choices. We'll double click on Sword Beach, France. Google Earth will fly us there. Again, we can zoom in to the level that we would like to set our view. Place our place mark by clicking on the place mark and dragging it to the position we would like it in and typing in Sword Beach. Now Sword Beach was the easternmost landing site. on D-Day. So you can see that we've now added Sword Beach. We can drag that down below Utah Beach and it becomes part of our tour. We can play our tour simply by clicking on the T plus L tour, clicking on the folder which opens up the play bar at the bottom of the screen. It initially flies us to Utah Beach. If we want to open the dialog window there, we can open it by clicking on it. Pauses for a couple of seconds, which we can set in the tools, and flying us to Sword Beach, the second stop on our tour. We could continue to add the other beaches, for example, Omaha, Juneau, and Gold Beaches, and other locations that were important on D-Day. But for right now, we'll stop here. To save our tour, we simply click on T plus L tour, right click, we can save it, we can email it, or we can share it by posting it. I hope you try this out with your students.